Hello, it's Mike Sanyo. It's been a long time since you and I have chatted. Um, I am now with the American Society of Civil Engineers responsible for our sustainability program. But I just wanted to say how uh, impressive uh, the Environmental Film Festival was and is in terms of telling stories about environmental concerns that affect people from everywhere in the Arctic right through to big cities like Washington and New York and otherwise. Why is it important for engineers to learn how to tell stories and to appear on environmental films? It's essential that engineers know how to tell stories that relate to people because that's what we do. We serve people. Our profession is a people-serving profession. Absolutely. Civil engineers and citizens, it, it all goes together. It all is the same root word. <laughs> Absolutely, all together. Citizens, no people, engineering. What's What's your favorite environmental film fest experience? It's a horrible education. Um, a family making tea in an igloo in the Arctic. It was about a 20 minute shot, but it was absolutely remarkable. And it started with a family approaching an igloo, or a, approaching a site for an igloo, building the igloo. And cooking a pot of tea. And it was over by wow. Saturday. Do you remember when that was? So that was it was job. probably as a, as a teacher, in, uh, in 1999. And you still so remember that story? I, remember. I believe it was at the Canadian Embassy. So if you, yeah. if you were exactly. We were just there this week. They, they always kick off the Film Fest every year. Wonderful. That is uh, Thank you for sharing your Environmental Film Fest experience. Well, thank you for asking.